Setting up VS Code, Compiler, and CMake on Linux is relatively easy with one possible pitfall, which I'll get to later. For now, let's set up our dev environment. Okay, if you're using a Debian-based system like I am, I have Ubuntu here, then by far the easiest way to set up VS Code is to just download the .dev file and install it. This will set up Microsoft's package uh, repository on your system. If you're on Red Hat or Fedora or Co, then you'll, you're better off setting up the YUM repository manually uh, by opening a terminal and entering this. Now, do not bother copying that off the screen. I'll leave a link below the video uh, so that you can copy and paste it directly off a web page. And once you've got the repository set up, then you can use either DNF or YUM, depending on your system, to update and install code. For me though, I am going to download this .deb file. I'm just gonna wait a little bit, wait for it to, it's gone into the downloads. I'm gonna open a terminal window, go to downloads, and we need to do a sudo apt install. dot dash in front of it, paste. And then from here, it's um, a bit of a waiting. <clears throat> Installation takes time. Uh, let's speed it up for you. Okay, now we need the compiler and CMake. For Ubuntu Debian users, the following options should be used. Install build essential which basically installs GCC and some related tools, GDB, the, the debugger, and CMake. So we install all those in one go. If you are using Red Hat or Fedora, you have a different command line uh, to install, which I'll put up on screen now. Once again, we need to wait a little bit. So let's start code now. You can either start it from the menus or just type in code in the terminal, that'll do it too. And before we can really get our programming, we have a few extensions to add. Here we go, extensions. So the first one you want is the C, C++ extension, the, the Microsoft one, right at the top here. So we install that. Oh no, actually, let's, let's go for the C++ extension pack, which will install the CMake tools as well as the C, C++ stuff. And we can do it all in one go. Installing, installing, installing. More waiting. And now I have a simple C++ project. Uh, this is probably the simplest CMake list file that you'll ever see. So now you notice down the bottom it says GCC. It's already picked up my compiler GCC 11. This is the, the CMake toolbar. Let's click build. Get rid of this. Oh, configure failed. Yeah, see, here's the problem. It says CMake 3.28 or higher is acquired, whereas you've got version 3.27. Uh, yeah. Uh, some Linux distros are rather, shall we say, conservative in updating packages. So basically that means you can end up with a rather old version, something that's several versions behind, which is what's happened here. Now I want to use some fairly recently introduced features in CMake uh, and version of CMake included with Ubuntu 22.04 is too old. The, to fix this, you've got a few options. The most drastic one would be change Linux distro or upgrade it. I think there's a snap package that has the latest version. So that's a, a relatively easy option. Or you can do what I uh, do, and that is build CMake from the source and install it that way. Uh, that's beyond the scope of this video though. Uh, let me show you what happens when you do have the right version of CMake installed. Actually, it's a total cheat. I don't, I don't need version 3.28. Oh, I can use version 3.24. Um, looks like Ubuntu 22 has finally updated to a very recent version of CMake, which is great. So now if we just say version 3.24 features and click the build button, now build configures and it completes. And if we run it, 
run a little hello world program down on terminal, we get hello world and everything's good. This video is based on the CMake tutorial. If you want to save yourself loads of time, frustration and pain when learning CMake, then head over to cmaketutorial.com.